Hi everyone, I'm Kara Wanigatimu with Microsoft Teams, and as you can see, I'm here at the SharePoint conference in Las Vegas. This is a special edition of Coffee in the Cloud. Let's hop in. I have the pleasure of talking to people about Microsoft Teams every day, and there's four important locations that I want everyone to be aware of so that you can stay up to date on this fast moving and exciting product. First off, there's the Office 365 roadmap. That roadmap gives you information about our public delivery dates. Microsoft Technical Community is a community that you can go to every day to find out information about all our products, learn information about driving adoption, visit our Champions Corner, or our Diversity Inclusion Forum. The Success with Teams site is a site for practical guidance about how to plan, deliver, adopt, and manage Microsoft Teams, as well as having information for people making their journey from Skype for Business to Teams. And Coffee in the Cloud is this channel right here, and we give you short how-to videos for IT pros and champions. Let me show you these sites and walk you through them. All right, let's start at the beginning. Here I am on the Office 365 Roadmap site. Now the Roadmap is a course for all Office 365 products, but we're gonna focus on Microsoft Teams. So the first thing that you wanna do when you get here is you wanna make sure that your filter is applied. You can see all the different applications that you can filter to. I'm gonna go ahead and select Microsoft Teams and hit apply. And that's going to filter the items for the, our product in particular. Scrolling down here, if I expand on the items that are in development, I get a whole host of features that are coming to Microsoft Teams. Now, this doesn't mean these are the only things that are being deployed to the service, but these are the major updates that we are publicly committing to a particular date. Uh, for instance, let's look here at location-based routing. It gives you the estimated release time by quarter. There's a feature ID, which we use to track it inside our engineering group, when it was added to the roadmap and the last time it was updated. So uh, it, basically you can look at any of these items and see this kind of information and do so for any product inside Office 365. So we love the roadmap side. Now the next slide I'm going to show you is the Microsoft Teams technical community. Now the link that I've included in the deck will take you right here to the Microsoft Teams experience within the technical community. And you'll notice as you take a look at this page that there's a couple of sections. There's an area for discussions and an area for our blogs. The blog is a fantastic place to keep up to date on everything that we're talking about from a product group perspective. Uh, we do a monthly what's new post. We talk about new features that have come out and uh, answer common questions. So uh, I highly encourage you to subscribe to this blog and get uh, active in the community itself. For every blog post, you can ask us questions, and many of the members of the uh, product engineering and product marketing groups are here on a regular basis. But this isn't the only community that exists on Microsoft Technical Communities. You can join communities for all of our major products. There's another one that's near and dear to my heart, and this is about driving adoption. But you can also find ones here on diversity in tech, uh, other products like Exchange, we have industry areas, and so uh, it's a really valuable community to be a part of, um, to ask your questions and participate in discussions. Now I'm gonna hop over here and you can see the driving adoption area. And the driving adoption also has spaces. Uh, one is a blog area, discussion area, uh, where we make regular posts and talk about common questions around how to drive adoption. Um, I just recently posted about our new Microsoft training services. And if you're a member of the Office 365 Champions program, uh, you'll see this Champions Corner here. We're launching this in June, so it's brand new, and you'll see more information as we post here in the driving adoption area. The next site is our practical guidance site. This is successwithteams.com, and it is our core product documentation for planning, delivering, configuring, adopting, and managing Microsoft Teams. You'll notice we have a special section for those of you who are coming from Skype for Business and moving to Teams. And there's a lot of valuable information in here, uh, including information about our whole intelligent communications vision, uh, links to the roadmap that I showed you earlier, and a great deck about the Skype for Business uh, to Microsoft Teams capabilities and when they're lighting up. So if you are already, if you're on Skype for Business, whether you're on-prem or online, I highly recommend you come to this section of the site uh, and review the information. We are constantly updating this information every week as we, re we refine the guidance and also uh, release new features. 
If you've already started using Teams and you want to know how to really drive adoption, uh, this core article about creating a change management strategy for Microsoft Teams is also published here. And it really gives you the steps you need to go through uh, along with your technical readiness work stream to drive adoption of the product. Last but never least is this channel right here, Coffee in the Cloud. That's where you are right now. Coffee in the Cloud is a one-stop shop to find all of your video training for Microsoft Teams and what we call our Better Together scenarios. Teams with SharePoint, Teams with Yammer, with Planner, with Power BI, with Power Apps, all of those great components of Office 365. We have featured videos here at the top, uh, as well as a series of tech tips that we are always updating. Uh, we have our standard getting started videos, uh, podcasts from uh, Teams on Air, which are long form conversations about our future features, as well as our academy section. And I do want to highlight that we have a uh, level 100 introduction to Microsoft Teams that we've made public right here. And you can share that with your, uh, your customers, your end users, anybody who really wants to just get a quick start uh, to Microsoft Teams. We keep uh, playlists also of special topics like guest access or security and compliance. And then, of course, down here at the bottom, we have uh, the uh, overview of, of all of the videos that are available. So, you know, coming to Coffee in the Cloud gets you a lot of great information, all publicly available. We keep it up to date, and we hope that you will subscribe uh, to the channel and learn more as we continue to expand the content we have here. That's a quick overview of the four key sites that you need to be a part of as you keep up to date on this great space of Microsoft Teams. Uh, we hope that you are enjoying the product. Please give us feedback in that Microsoft technical community, and thanks for being with me today.